Hey there, I want to show you a quick video of my modded Sega Genesis 2. I added the patch bay and a potentiometer resistor, an arcade button, a switch for 10 MHz, 7 MHz switching, a LED that uh, lights up whenever it is overclocked, a monitor out, and yeah, uh, RCA out and stereo out on the back side. So basically what you do is you just interconnect uh, the patch bay cables and each connection will do a different kind of glitching to the device and this is for a one hit glitch and this is for a more controlled glitch with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So let's just connect something. Okay, that's pretty weird. Let's try another one, like this. And okay, this is actually pretty nice. You see the, the one hit arcade button. Let's disconnect some of the stuff. So now we're back to normal. And yeah. Okay. See this? Okay. And the glitch will undo whenever a new sprites are loaded. So on the same screen it will stay like that. What the heck is this? Okay. Okay, this is really nice to play. I really love this game, Kid Chameleon. Can only recommend this one. Okay, let's try the one hit button. Ah. Wow, nice. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. Not too far. Ah, that was too much. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. Oh, this is not glitched. Let's try... Oh, this was a little bit too much. Okay, now you can't play anymore. But yeah, you get the idea. And yeah. You can switch between 10 MHz and 7 MHz. Some games uh, need to be overclocked to 10 MHz to run smoothly, like uh, the newer Sonic games or games with a lot of sprites. Okay, that was my video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good time.